Socorro ISD spent $8,000 this weekend cleaning up a number of East Lake High School computers. The reason being a student downloaded malware or a malicious program to the school's computer system. ABC 7 Astro Rodriguez live with this story. Ashley. Estella, we've been talking a lot about 21st century learning environments, classrooms with Wi-Fi and touchscreen computers. We know the doors technology can open, but also coming through those doors is the potential for viruses and hacking, a risk old school books just don't bring. I think it was pretty cool that the system got hacked. Socorro ISD says last Thursday a senior uploaded a malware program. Yeah, around 4.45, we disabled uh, the campus from our network, and we started looking to the situation. Before they cut off the system entirely, all the sites like YouTube and stuff wasn't restricted, so we could like go on YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. It seems his fellow students knew and got nervous. They told the teacher who brought the student into the principal's office. Another whole class, the teacher. Immediately, SISD's IT department started checking computers, shutting down all technology instruction the following day. Diseases, very good. The kids were forced to learn old school style. And in some areas, you have. It's to out there. It's out there everywhere. Uh, kids can go to any websites and copy those templates, and that's what they did. They copied the templates, and he tried to run it there at the school. After spending the weekend checking a thousand computers, they found out he had only infected 16. They say he was attempting to copy logins and passwords with the intent of identity theft. For some students raised in the digital age with hacking heroes like Anonymous and WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, this rather serious prank seemed quite cool. Like what happened with that guy Edward Snowden, how he like sold the secrets and stuff. And like Snowden, this senior is in trouble. He was arrested, charged with breach of computer systems. You know, technology plays a role in everything that we do. Uh, it has a lot of great points, but one of the downfalls is that at any time somebody can cause something that can cause a disruption. The district was able to find the student's malware and eradicate it. The only thing left the district has to do, Estella, is check about 200 laptops. And $8,000 later, too. Yeah. Okay. Ashley, thank you.